If your idea of the perfect flying vacation is clear water, scuba diving, great fishing, great food, and a laid back island vibe, but you need a Starbucks and you don't feel like renewing your passport, the islands of the Florida Keys are your paradise. And if you're going to fly to the Keys, you have to see Summerlin Key Cove Airport, a place that connects air, land, and sea. Resident Bob Rasky loves to share this place with friends and visitors. And we're the, one of the most unique flying communities in the world because we're located right on the deep water canals of Summerlin Key. And as I go down the road here, to my left are some of the hangar homes that we built over the years. And we have the convenience of being able to fly, land on the airstrip off to the right, pull up into your house, walk through your house, and then right there in the back, a deep water canal ready for your boating adventures. Diving is a big draw in the Keys, and Summerlin Key is centrally located around some great sites. We're only about 15 minutes by boat to Luke Key, which is one of the most beautiful diving spots, what I consider in the world, a five-finger reef, deep water access fishing, and of course, some of the best dining around here in terms of fish markets and food. Matt Stedner is a full-time resident and manages the airport on a day-to-day -day basis. In 2014, I got uh, orders to come down to Key West from Meridian, Mississippi, and uh, I was so excited because I've, I've been down to Key West several times on detachment with the Navy, and uh, I love being down here. I, I very rarely climb above 500 feet when I'm just tooling around out here, and I, I love to just look at the reef, look for wildlife, look for sharks, um, look for giant schools of eagle, eagle rays, just to show my family and friends what all this place has to offer. There's secluded sandbars with folks that are out partying on and they love to see airplanes flying overhead. Stentner and his friends use his airplane as a scouting tool to help find the best fishing and diving spots. I came down here and you can't live in the Keys and not fish. One of the things that we discovered we could do with the airplane is uh, when my friends would come over, we'd hop on the boat. But before we did that, I'd pull the airplane out, take off, and then go fly around the Keys and find the clearest water that I could within reasonable boating distance. And then we'd go directly there instead of having to hunt for clear water while we're out fishing. If you're flying to the Keys, there are two great public use airports and a lot of other options you may be able to drop into. But as far as flying into the Keys, uh, if you want to go to Duval and you're down here to party, you need to fly into Key West. If you're down here for a week or a month or so of fishing and diving, I would strongly recommend flying into Marathon, unless you guys want to fly in here and then call me, and then we can work that out. <clears throat> Seaplane pilots are usually loath to dip their toes into salt water, but in the Keys, it's a necessity. Like for Keys seaplane owner, Nick Pontecorvo. I came to Key West on vacation in 1991 and wound up staying and started flying as a pastime, turned into a passion and a profession. Well, we do two things. Uh, we do point-to-point -point transportation, we're a uh, 135 uh, operation, as well as we do sightseeing flights. Uh, we have a variety of flights. We typically go out to the reef, uh, fly through to uninhabited islands up through Key West Harbor, do some water takeoffs and landings and return back to Key West. Boating, diving, great beaches, clear water, great food, historical tours, and of course, wonderful flying and lots of blue sky days. The Keys can feel like a world away. No passport required. Ian Twombly, AOPA Live.